Corsair M580. Oh man, that sounds terrible. Listen to that, guys. The that tape squeaking. Oh yeah, hear it. I'm gonna turn that off. So I just picked this up at a local garage sale for five bucks. It was weird. It's a garage sale. It's on a Wednesday. I think they probably do it quite often. But I'll go ahead and have it face me for a minute. And uh, I may or may not upload this. I just thought I'd uh, give this a try, see uh, see how good the video was. This is 720p, not not full HD, so, you know, not 1080p. But uh, it's supposed to be a very good camera. I figure for $5 it was worth giving it a try. It takes uh, 14 megapixel pictures. And um, let's see, it, it's uploadable to YouTube, Facebook, Flickr, and Kodak. So I believe this does have the wireless built in and uh, I'll check that out a little bit later. We're about to head into Walmart here as you can see right there or as my friend calls it Wally World and uh, talk to you guys a little bit later. Alright guys so I'm in Walmart and I see the claw machine is calling me so let's go ahead and give this a try. See how strong these are. These are 50 cents each. Alright let's see uh, what I should get here. Um, I might go for that dog over there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for this bulldog looking thing right here. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know if the claw's gonna ah ah kind of a weak claw on this one. Nothing is really in a good place. Yeah, we'll try something else again. Let's let's try for one of these uh, dogs right here. Maybe this one right here. This is all from that new movie, Pets. Let's see about that one. Oh, ooh, that might be good. That might be good. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! They're kind of weak. I don't think this thing's set to pay out yet. So uh, eh, maybe we'll try it in a little bit. I'm going to go in and do some shopping. Talk to you guys a little later. Yeah, so doing some more shopping here in Walmart. Came across this. This looked pretty interesting. This is a dual USB wall charger. This is originally $16, and I got it. It's on clearance for two. Looks pretty cool. It can tr rapidly charge a uh, phone like mine. So you got right there, one amp power charge. So yeah, this will be really cool for my phone. Hopefully it'll it'll work because my new Samsung Galaxy X7 requires a lot of power to charge. So yeah, can't wait to see how well this works. I mean, two dollars down from sixteen. You can't beat that at Let's all. See what other kind of stuff they got here. This is the camping section. Camping and uh, bicycles. Got one of those Ozark Trail tents. I actually had one just like this. This is the four person model. Uh, isn't that interesting? Let's see if the camera gets the price. I think it's 25 bucks. Yeah, you can see it right up there. You actually have it set up for viewing. This is something we really need, but I think we're going to wait a little bit. We don't really want to spend the money right now. Fifty-four dollars for this Intech. Uh, this one's a queen size. We're actually looking for a double or a twin, because when we're in the trailer, it'd be nice to have an extra air mattress just in case the uh, one that's built into the bed goes bad. And if we get like a twin, then we could just go ahead and put that on the floor, and somebody can sleep there. So I think we're going to go ahead and look for a twin air mattress for there. That's pretty cool. We used to have one of these. Actually, probably still have a few of them. These are folding aluminum tables. Basically, when you're camping, these are really nice to have because if you're, like, we have an abachi, we can go and put the abachi on there. We could put all of our plates and stuff on there. We usually take a few of those, but, yeah, that's a little pricey. I've seen them much cheaper than that elsewhere. We got some coolers here. We got, I think we're good with coolers. We got quite a few of them sitting around. I do like these though because with these they're big but yet you can still hold them they have like a really good size handle one person can hold that whereas with that cooler you probably basically need two people to hold that or you're going to break or wrench your back pretty good they got some uh these coleman propane canisters um i have one or two um things at home that use i have a coleman uh, grill that uses this and I think I actually still have one of my lanterns that use these you get two of them for 624 which is an okay price I've seen them a lot cheaper than that elsewhere though yeah maybe I'll pick maybe I'll pick some of those up uh, when I get home I'll have to see if ours has those well I gotta go look for some batteries I'll talk to you guys in oh a few my more gosh minutes. guys I was just passing this and I swear I thought there was liquid in here <laughs> these are just like these little Aladdin um 
water jugs. It's swear, I swear, it looked like that was cherry soda, maybe just some uh, blueberry style soda. I mean, it's weird. It's kind of got that effect, but all it is is they've um, tinted the glass down there. I think that's supposed to keep whatever beverage you have in there fresher longer, but just thought I'd show you guys that. It was pretty cool. All right, here's the front battery center. Let's see if we can find some good deals on AAA batteries. I need them for those flashlights I got the other day. Get eight for five. Eh, that's not that great of a deal. That's in the Rayovac brand. So you can get eight in the Duracell cost you six thirty seven. Ah, what do we got here? Might just go this route. Get twenty of these extra heavy duty ones for uh, three bucks. I mean these are double A's, I have to find triple A's, but I mean, all they are are flashlights. You really don't need a heck of a lot of power, you know, battery power for just those little LED flashlights. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, I remember their batteries were kind of expensive. I think uh, I'm going to be going elsewhere to find batteries. I just do not want to pay that much for batteries. I know I'm a little bit of a cheap, cheapskate in that sense, but... That's just really too expensive for batteries. All right, guys, I'm here at the self-checkout. Let's see if uh, it indeed gives the right price. Again, this is supposed to be $2. Yep. Maybe it's this. Oh, nope, there we go. Awesome, $2.16. So, yay, that actually had the right price. All right, guys, one more try at the claw machine. We'll, uh... We'll see if I can get anything out of it this time. Well, this thing does not work well, I tell you. There we go. All right, let's see. Uh, what do I want to try for? I'm going to try for this guy right in front. Uh, you know what? That's not going to work. That's a dead zone. Um, let's see. Man, there are not a lot of good ones. Let's try for this... Uh, white dog in the back here see if i can get him kind of grab him a little oh 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 nah i don't think so i don't think this thing's set out to pay right now to make it hard they have them kind of vertically so you can't really get a good grip on them let's try uh let's try something here well you know what let's try this bulldog one more time see if uh Uh, you can't make these jump either. Ah, that's not going to do it. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, it was worth a try. Yeah, this one's rigged for sure. These are uh, Sugarloaf toy shop ones. Yeah. You win some, All right, you guys, so we some. just stopped for lunch in Oxford, New York, and went to one of the best Italian restaurants I've ever been to. This is Roma pizzeria and restaurant right in the middle of Oxford. You guys can see the sign back there. Some of the best food I ever had. Mom had the, um, i trying to think what I had. I had the calzone and mom had something called the uh, uh, eggplant rollatine, which is kind of like eggplant wrapped up with some uh, ricotta cheese and some uh, mozzarella. It's a little loud here right now, but incredible. Very good prices here. Um, all that, and I had a bowl of the lobster bisque soup, which was humongous, one of the biggest bowls I've ever seen. All that came to $28. So guys, if you are in Oxford and wanting some good Italian food, come to Roma's Pizzeria and Restaurant. Tell them what you thought oh, about excellent. this. Excellent, really good, worth it, worth the trip. Fantastic, see, so you heard food. it from her too. Leftovers. Awesome, so we're gonna go ahead and take a walk around the town real quick and uh, Talk to you guys a little bit. All right, guys, so here we are in the Oxford Town Square. You guys can see it's a quaint little town, very, very similar to Green. Absolutely beautiful. They got uh, a grooming place here. They have a deli and an old ice cream parlor here. Uh, over there is the little old town pharmacy. But what I want to show you guys is their fountain. Now, every Saturday, they actually have a... Um, Oxford Farmers Market here and what they do is they set tents up all around here and all in this town square here Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get to see it this year because uh, I think we're leaving Friday for mom to get her tooth fixed, but Gorgeous I can imagine people sitting here for lunch Just sitting right on these 
stone benches here and looking at this. What a gorgeous place to live. <laughs> and they're warning you here, no wading or bathing for reasons of public health and safety by order of Oxford DPW. But wow, look at that, so clean. On a nice day like this too. Let's see if we can get a closer shot. This is fairly new too. They haven't had this here by I think a couple of years. You could see that, um, see look, it looks like it might have broken a little bit down there. Yeah, take a look at that. Yeah, well it might be, but it looks like it's kind of eroded. It's not even that old. Look at the top of that. Uh, so we'll be really careful because I notice there's some algae growing here. Like this is going to be very, very slippery. Yeah, oh, look at that. What do you think of the hanging plants, the baskets? Beautiful. Look at them all downtown. Look how beautiful they I know. Collectibles. Fine gifts collectibles. That's near the pharmacy. Oh, I can look in there. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, Sandy had told me that they have like little concerts here. What they'll do is they'll set up chairs here, like stadium seating. And they'll have like little concerts here. I think they do bluegrass uh, sometimes. You can see they actually have uh, power up there and they have sockets for light. So I'm, apparently you can have this lit. <laughs> Looks like the uh, gate is kind of sinking right there. I don't know what's up with that, but absolutely gorgeous. Here's the old school post office. Tell that's old. <laughs> yeah, it's just a quaint little upstate New York town. I love, I love coming over here. Say, oh, here's one of these uh, historic signs. Let's see what it says. New York, jun junction of Ithaca Catskill Turnpike and the Utica Binghamton line of post coaches. Stage route and mail line formed in 1822. I've had stagecoaches coming through. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you can see how old this town is. State Education Department. Looks like that's when this was put up, right around 1938. So this is definitely an historic area. Look at and beautiful flowers over there. Oh, yeah. And just for reference, uh, when we went to the garage sales, this is actually where we came out. Um, that city McDoa, that little town, is about 15 miles, well, 10, 12 miles up that way. Well, I think we're going to check out this gift store, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we decided to walk on this side just to see what kind of uh, establishments they still had. Mr. Chubb's Restaurant it looks pretty cool. Beautiful, beautiful buildings here. Bartell's Pharmacy, established 1963. Let's look in the window real quick. Oh, yeah. Nice big pharmacy. I don't know if you guys can see in there or not. I don't want to film in there. A lot of people around here don't like it. <laughs> yeah, you can see it says fine gifts and collectibles, but that could be part of the pharmacy, too. Here's the Oxford Grooming. I'm gonna go in and look and see if it's fine. Aren't you? you want to? All right, guys, I'll take you in. We'll see if they if they tell me to stop filming. I'm going to respect oh, yeah, their wishes, like though. Oh yeah, see they do have some. Oh yeah, look stuff. at this. Oh, this is thank you. This is cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the old school pharmacy. Oh, I love these. You just don't see a lot of these anymore. Everything is like Rite Aid, CVS. Nothing is independent anymore. Really, really cool. <laughs> Paint with water. Melissa and Doug. Nice little kids section. Little towns need stores like this because, you know, they, they're nowhere near a mall or anything. I mean, sure, they have Walmart, but I mean, even that can be far if you don't really drive. Got little beanie babies here. Very, very cool. What are you looking at? Oh no, she's looking at another. Was that a hurricane lamp? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at the copper. Look at the copper light in there. Yeah, but quality. You pay for quality. I 
love that. Look at this. No place like Oxford <laughs> that is so with the cute. cow. I've seen a lot of these uh, cows around. I wonder if that's significant in some way to this town. Probably because dairy farms are there. That's true. I bet it is. The Lafayette Park bystander must have been a newspaper that they had here. These are all gifts from the town. Very, very cool. Let's look at this little bike, his little candle holder. <laughs> this reminds me of the teacups that you would find in uh, amusement parks. They kind of go around and around. Uh, those always made me uh, sick to my stomach, but that is so cool. All right, what did you find now? Oh, well, it's all metal. It's like enamel. Isn't that cute? Oh, look at this. Yeah. yeah. I like They're that. colanders. Yeah. All they have a really things. cool effect. I but wonder if these it's are... All metal. Metal. Crown Candy Home. I was thinking maybe it was made locally, but now it's just a, a line of different dishware that they collect. That's really cool. Remember the blue glass that Grandma used to have? That kind of reminds me of that a little bit more of a modern take on it. But that is so cool. They got a lot of cookbooks and stuff in there. Oh, oh, here we go. My one weakness. It's my weakness. Yankee candles. Oh, I can never afford them, though. <laughs> And they're and they're electric. I think they are. Do they do they have a scent to them? Yeah. No, they're just electric. They're for decoration mostly. See, I like that, but I would be afraid of getting ruined being outside. That that. Oh yeah. Room. I'd be afraid of getting ruined. That is really cool. All right. Well, I think we're almost done here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop filming for now. And uh, all right, guys. guys so we just got home. Mom's in there uh, trying to get these curtains ready to put up. But I got something really interesting to tell you before I end the vlog today. On the way home, uh, Route 12, you're coming in from Norwich. Look to the right on the side of the road, and what do we see? But a cow. That's right, a cow was actually walking on the side of the road. So I went and pulled into a little parking area that was maybe a quarter mile past there. And I wound up calling 911. They asked me for everything. They asked me for my phone number, my address, everything. And uh, I said, um, well, you guys can send someone out there to look because we're afraid this cow's going to get hit on the side of the road. And he said, yeah, don't worry about it. We have a state trooper coming or a police officer coming right in the area. It's going to go ahead and take care of it. They have the tools to do it because, God, remember, this is a farm area. So the police around here have to be prepared for any contingency, even livestock in the middle of the road but now this one was on the side um it was obviously a uh, a milking cow because there are a lot of dairies so i don't think there are any um cows that they raise around here for food mainly it's dairy big big dairy area but we were concerned because we thought that maybe it wasn't just the one we only saw one but if a fence had broken or something there could have been many cows out there so hopefully the uh, police will get to them and bring them to safety soon well, I'm going to end the vlog here for today. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. I know it wasn't as long as some of the other ones, but Mom and I just wanted to relax and kind of have a day to ourselves. Remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.